Congratulations, Majima-san. We now have 1,000 fans from the Club Mars area. Hey, everybody. Devoted Oblivion here. Welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 0. Last time, we basically did stuff related to Cabaret Cl the Cabaret Club. Uh, Cabaret Club Sunshine for the Club Mars area. So we partnered with everyone. We recruited every single hostess that we can. Uh, and we also did one special training session with Yuki, our Platinum Hostess, and also got her up to, um, par? Basically, yeah, no, no, we basically restylized her to hit some more categories, so now this time, we are going to be t taking on, uh, Club Mars entirely, but first, I uh, walked out used the dream machine and came back in and we got uh sort of talk from yoda because we reached 1000 fans i totally forgot that you have to leave sunshine and when you come back in once you reach a thousand fans you'll have something to say so uh let's see uh right on looks like we got some momentum going hi hi yes i think we'll be able to reach club mars's fan count any day now <laughs> <laughs> looks like we're on track. Mm. Well, I doubt they'll just sit around and do nothing. Hino is bound to have something up his sleeve. Hey, let go of me. Uh, what now? Someone fighting outside? Uh, the timing is too perfect. This might be Hino up to no good. Uh, no problem. Let's check it out. Huh? Your eye from Hino's Club Mars. <laughs> We got scammed out of all our money at that asshole's club. You gonna do something about it? No. Uh, what can I really do? I mean, if you're going to play, you've got to pay. Ah, huh? uh, shut it. My wife took the kids and left because of that damn club. <laughs> you're part of the problem. Okay, okay, okay. You're the problem. Who told you, you to spend that much is the thing. Yeah, time for you to fix it. Uh, uh, fix it? By doing what? Uh, what's all this crap? It sounds like they spent too much money at Club Mars, and were driven to bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? They partied at a cabaret club until they went bankrupt? Hino certainly knows how to bleed a customer. He'll let them play until they run out of money, and when they run out, he'll loan them money to let them play more. With cutthroat interest, of course. Ah, I gotcha. Pretty nasty business. Uh, yes, that's why so many people hate Club Mars. Doesn't surprise me at all that this girl has to deal with something like this. Of course, the girls would have no idea why they're being targeted. Hino doesn't tell them how he's driving their customers into deeper debts with his loans. Mm -hmm. Majima-san? Hey, where are you? Yo, you lot. Why are you making a scene in front of the club? Huh? What? We're busy here. Fuck off. <laughs> you surround a girl and threaten her? You ought to be ashamed. I'd ditch your sorry ass too if I were your wife. <laughs> Say what? Sounds like you want to die, asswipe. We'll get this shithead first, and then Hino. You know, kill him! <sighs> uh, what a pain. You alright, lady? This is gonna get ugly. So maybe you should take a step back. D thank you. Shine! Alright, some menacing men to start things off. And, yeah. Basically, this episode, we are gonna be completely taking on Club Mars in its entirety once we get the fan count up, but also in between some special training with Yuki if we can, and um, um, basically earning money so that we can actually go level up our styles and take uh, take part in master training. Uh, since right now I'm actually broke. This 52 million is uh, not there. Like, it's not enough. I need more than that. Anyways, this fight's really easy. They, they won't hit hard, especially if you stagger them. We're in an alley, so Breaker is really good. We also have some uh, uh, objects on the ground. Uh, but they're they're basically just meatballs. They're basically just HP sponges. Like, look at their punch. It, it didn't do much to me. I'm taking straight hits, but that's because I'm doing this pretty sloppily. There we go, and... There we go. Essence of Choke Gal. <sighs> uh, 
that was underwhelming. Hmm. No, Majima-san, you're just too strong. Why did you... What was all that noise? What on earth happened? Huh? Hey? Who are these people? Have you been beating people up again, Majima-san? Oh, <sighs> uh, why'd you always got to assume it's me? Yeah, guilty as charged this time, though. These bozos were making a racket in front of the club, so I figured I'd do something about it. Huh? Eh? Really? You beat them up just for that? Majima-san, you can be such a monster. Uh, no, no, that's not true. He saved me. Huh? Uh, save you? Um, who might you be? Hi, I'm I from Club Mars. Huh? Eh? Club Mars? Oh, well, what are we going to do, Majima-san? She's from Club Mars. <sighs> uh, come on, calm down. I knew that. Huh? Eh? You knew? And you still helped her? What if she's an enemy spy and this is all part of her plot? Uh, Ai-san, why were you in front of our club? Hi. Oh, right. I had a message from Hino-san for you. Uh, -huh. uh message? Hi. Hi! I've allowed you to exist out of the kindness of my heart until now. If I grow tired of your buzzing insects, if you're challenging the five stars, there will be no mercy. It's high time I destroyed you. Let the tears of defeat begin to fall. That's the message. <sighs> uh, well, ain't that classy. I guess that's his declaration of war. <laughs> Fine. If he's got a death wish, I'd be happy to grant it. Aye. That sounds great, Majima-san. Let's show Hino that we won't bow down to the five stars. Heh, <laughs> sounds like you're starting to grow a pair, Yoda-chan. <laughs> Maybe you're starting to rub off on me. Uh, what's the matter, Yuki-chan? You're shivering. Are you scared? Uh, no, I'm just pumped for the fight. Heh, <laughs> don't try to act all tough. That's not what I'm doing. Ha, 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 what are you laughing at? You're making fun of me? Haha, <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just... fun. It's fun? Yeah. Everyone at Club Sunshine actually gets along with each other. Uh, you think so? Uh, we don't get along at all, actually. <laughs> it's a nice change of pace from where I work, is all. All the girls at Club Mars are wound up tight, and Hino-san doesn't really treat us like people. The way you three talk to each other... I'm really jealous. Uh, there's no, no, there's nothing to be jealous about. Majima-san makes fun of me all the time. Don't confuse the cold hard truth or me making fun of you, Yuki-chan. Uh. <laughs> eh -heh -heh? Uh. Well, I better get back to Club Mars. Hino-san is gonna blow a socket. See you later. You stay out of trouble now. Don't get attacked again. Majima-san, right? Uh -huh. huh? Why did you help me even though you knew I was your enemy? Uh, that ain't how it is. Club Mars may be my enemy, but you're just working hard there. You got nothing to do with the lines in the stand. In the sand. Besides, I ain't jaded enough to let a girl get attacked right in front of me and just twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> eh heh heh, I see. Majima-san, I truly wish you the best. I hope we meet again. She wishes us well? Ah. Uh, I guess so. Ah, uh, that's why she's number one at Club Mars. She's cute. I wish she was my daughter. She does got sparkle in her eyes. Mm -hmm. Hey, my eyes sparkle too. See? Look. <laughs> Boy, it's kind of chilly out today. Uh, yep. Back to it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, see if my eyes ever sparkle for you again. <laughs> oh my god, I've totally forgot how... Fuck, how fucking funny Yuki is. Yuki, I feel I feel, I feel bad for Yuki a bit. She is basically the the punching bag of all these things. I actually feel sorry for Yuki, but it's just too funny. Um, anyways, yeah, I am going to leave the club first to go heal. And when I, uh, after I heal, I'll be back in the club and we can get started on how we're going to do about Club Sunshine. Okay, Yoda-chan, I am back from eating, so let's run the Cabaret Club. Uh, so basically, what is going to happen now is I already did, get, already got my cast on duty for last time, uh, from last episode, all set. So what I'm going to do is I will open for business and show this first run completely, uh, without it being tutorial based, just so we can see how it's like with 
actual staff, and in between each set, each uh, open session, so each uh, open for business, I will be doing a special training for Yuki, so we can slowly work to on that. So I will put that all of Yuki's dialogue in in between, and then um, from there I will just alternate between the two until we are ready to face uh, Hino and in a rival battle. So let's open for business with, well, target the area. And now we go with this lineup. So let's do this. Oh, it looks so full now. Okay. So, we get a guest come in, we have to go to their table, assign them the right hostess. So we want that was average money, and we want love. So, love, let's go with unknown, actually. So we want to pair, them, pair the customer up with the trait that they like, and as well as uh, what, I guess, style they like, too? As we can see at the bottom. Uh, easier indication is to tell by the circle or their face, basically. Uh, yeah, we'll set, put Isobe here. And the more fans you have in the area, the more customers will come in. So it's imperative that we increase our fan base to get more customers to come in. Uh, this is love, so let's go with Seiko here. Okay, help please. That's... Swap Ashtray? Yeah, so on screen right now, I will um, show what each of the hand signals are. Uh, just so it can be used for reference. And always extend session if you can. Uh, help please. Uh, that is a ladies class. Okay. And now let's see. Love or okay, the best I could do is Yuki. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, ashtray swap. Like this is all done in three minutes, but it's not really three minutes. Okay, we have our fever gauge up that one. We're getting another one here, so let's go to Isobe. How do you understand session? Nope. Okay. Uh, let's get this one here. Uh, let's put... Uh, let's go Junko. Help. Yuki. A another ashtray swap. Since so if we get if we get the hand signal right, they get a bit more money, and I believe the hostess recovers a little bit of HP. But mostly, we get more money. And of course, each platinum hostess gets a special cutscene with Majima like that. Uh, okay, we're level two. Okay. But yeah, this is basically the gist of the Cabaret Club. Now, without the tutorials, we are able to see how it's like, and especially that we have, um, especially that we have a uh, gracious set. No. We want to. Okay, we do want to praise the girl sometimes to recover their HP. But this is basically how the Cabaret Club would run when we have a full hostess list to work with and that uh, this, this not, uh, full hostess list to work with and we have fans for the area there oh really damn okay damn, I really my, my mind is all over the place right now and I'm okay with that because I really like the cabaret club minigame here this is really fun I don't I probably spent like 10, maybe 20 hours playing this on my first time because it was just so damn fun. Uh, oh, we don't have anyone that's good. Okay, Obatarian, go! Uh, 
that is the menu. Menu. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. We get the order right. The girl recovers some HP. And let's pop fever. Level three fever. So we make even more money. A little bit of waste on Yuki here because her time's almost out. Uh, okay, Isobe again. Uh, let's do a gracious send off so we get slightly more fans. Oh, and we get pretty good groovy disco music while uh, we're in fever. Oh, this could be anyone, so let's go with Aki. Excuse me, Akina. Okay, 50 seconds left, and we're actually got a full house this time. So that's pretty good. Okay, okay, uh, Gracious send off everyone needs help. Uh, come on, come on. Okay, assign you. We have to go Seiko. I think we're good, we're chilling. I think we're just straight chilling now. Okay, let's put Yuki in. Jack! Oh my god, uh, let's pray this girl this time. Help. Uh, what do you want? Uh, ladies' glass? Okay, I think I think we're good, so one more sunshine fever on two tables. Basically, level one hits two tables, level four- level two hits four, and then level three hits all six tables. Uh, there's your send-off. Uh, extend session? Nope. Poor people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Isobe getting another one. Uh, swap Ash Tray. Okay, 17 seconds left. And yeah, this is like, I like how it's marketed, or like it's seen as it being three minutes, but it's longer than three minutes because of all the interjections and from the hostesses. So, it really feels like probably 5-6 minutes worth of gameplay for each session. Okay, since we're at the end of the shift, let's just do gracious send-offs. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Yep. There we go. That's a really good session. So we got cover charge, food and drink sales, we didn't give any gifts, and our staffing costs, so we made 13 million. It's not much, but it's good to good enough to like get us started. And we got a lot of levels, so whoever made the most sales, people who sell more, get more XP. So, oh, Yuki is level six now. Okay, we got 390 fans, so we're at 1415. All right, and that is essentially the Cabaret Club. Uh, with a non-tutorial session. So, let's talk to Yoda again, and we have to also be note that in the absence, whoever is absent is basically we cannot use them for that shift. So, usually before a hosted, or before a rival battle, what we want to do is whoever is not feeling that good on HP and such, we switched them out, do like a throwaway session or a cheap session, and then we can uh, go straight up with the rifle battles. So everyone's rejuvenated. So we can see here Akemi is our one of our skill ones, and she has doesn't have good HP. So let's switch her out for someone who also has skill. Uh, yeah, let's go Shinomi here. So we always have to pay attention to our hostess's HP. So as now it would be uh, Yuki's customer service. 
All right, let's call it a day. Uh, thank you for the lesson. Yeah, uh, sure thing. Good job. So let's see. <laughs> this is a perfect lesson. I was having such a good time. I'm for every training you. Really nice, that's great. Uh, I'll be more confident now. I'll do my best work harder. Okay. So, uh, I think those two levels. All right, now the special training is done. I'll see everyone when we are ready to take on Club Mars or for Yuki's next uh, training session. All right, we have hit the <laughs> amount of fans that we need, which is 1,500. So, congratulations, my son. We topped 1,500 fans from the Club Mars area. <laughs> well done, Yoda-chan. Looks like our hard work's paid off. Hi. Hi. But Hino ain't gonna take this line down. Oh no, this is really bad. Simmer down, Yuki-chan. Don't cause a ruckus. Uh... Hey, I can't simmer it down. We got challenged from Club Mars. Uh, challenge, huh? Looks like we were finally going up against them, head to head. I wonder how that works. According to the challenge, it says we fight it out in a cabaret club battle. A cabaret club battle? What's that? Uh, no clue. Oh no, a cabaret club battle. Uh, what's the matter, Yoda chan? Pull yourself together. You know something about this cabaret club battle thing? Uh, yes. It's so Mori's cabaret industry's rare but terrifying method for clubs to duke it out. Two cabaret clubs compete by running their businesses and determining who made more money. Huh? Sounds pretty normal to me. Why is that so terrifying? The losing club, in a worst case scenario, the losing club has a close up shop. Uh, seriously? A cabaret club battle puts the club's prestige on the line. The losing club will be branded as a loser and its reputation will be ruined. Fans will drift away. As a result, many clubs have been forced to close. Naniyate? Really? The so called battle has that much influence? Uh, yes, it does in Sultan Mori. There are many customers who choose a club based on the results of a recent battle. The five stars have built their power by defeating their competition in cabaret club battles and shutting them down. And now we might be an X. So the gist of it is that this battle is so important it can shut down the whole club, eh? Uh, Majima san. You're going to accept Hino's challenge, right? Uh, yeah, I was gonna. But maybe we better talk about that a little more, you know? You got any reason you want to back down, Yoda-chan? To be honest, I don't want to lose Club Sunshine. Uh, yeah, I hear ya. But, if we back down now, there will be no future for Sultan Mori's cabaret clubs. Majima-san. Uh, yeah? Let's do it. We'll do the cabaret club battle. We can't let the five stars continue their reign of terror. Uh, Yoda-chan. <laughs> if we're going to do this, we're doing it to win. I might not be much help, but I'll do my best. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I'll help. I work as much as my salary can cover. Uh, that would be no different than any other day, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Club Mars is a powerful opponent. Let's make sure we sort out the staff lineup and get ready before we do this. You can now choose the battle against Club Mars in the Cabra Club management menu. So now, if we talk to Yoda, uh, yes, let's do this, yes, let's. We can see we got a challenge received from Club Mars, and we can initiate a rival battle with Club Mars. Uh, with that, let me see, yeah, where our hostess's HP is not looking good. So, I'll be back once everyone's recovered. Okay, so Yuki's special training is now available, and I was thinking about including the special training in, like, part way through the video here and there, but the more I think about it, I think I will cut all of Yuki's special training out, except for the results, and then I will, then once I finish all of her training, I will just compile them into a video itself, and, uh, upload it just so that it's all in one uh all in one like concise spot so i think i will do that uh which is gonna be a lot of files i have to go through but eh, whatever I, I i i'm doing this for fun in my own free time so it's it shouldn't be that big of a deal so i shouldn't complain so anyways i will see everyone back when i have prepped my entire staff for the rival battle. Okay, special training done. We increased our fans as well to 2835. And basically this is gonna be the cast 
that I'm going to go into the rival battle with. Uh, it's a little bit lacking in love. Just looking at the points to the side. But they're both like... Both Seiko and Unknown have pretty high love anyways. So I'm just hoping we don't get bombarded with it or else we're pretty screwed. But anyways, when you're ready to do a rival battle, you go to the rival battle menu and go to battle. And open with this lineup. Let's go. Hello, Club Sunshine, my favorite little ant farm. You all seem to be scuttling about as mindlessly as ever. Yeah, Club Mars Hino, right? You're the one who dragged your ass to the nest. Wanna take a swing and see what happens? Huh? Huh. Don't get cocky, little roach. I could crush this club under my foot anytime I feel like it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving you that giving that a try. We'll see who gets crushed. Huh. You insects sure do dream big these days. No grip on reality. Oi. Answer me this, Majima Goro. What is the most powerful thing in the world? Eh? It's money. You're a winner if you have money. And if you don't, you're a loser. And me? I have money. Lots of it. <laughs> Expensive liquor, great food, hot woman. If you have money, you can have anything. If I want more customers, I can even pay for them. How do you think a piss poor cabaret club like you is going to win against what's in my wallet? It's me. Won't know until we try. But you know, running a club takes more than the cash you put in it. You continue to annoy me, you fly. But you know what? I'm gonna really enjoy watching you worm squirm around on the ground, begging not to die. <laughs> Alright, let's do this then. Club Sunshine. We're open for business. Yeah! Alright, rival battle time with Hino of Club Mars. Basically, it's the same thing as before, except we get to see their own uh, fever gauge. Okay, that's super good. Uh, we have to compete against them in the bars. Basically, they have their own sort of fever skill as well. What we want to do is actually proc ours whenever we can, because you don't know when you can get another chance in these rival battles. So, uh, it doesn't matter if it's level 1 or not. Uh, just proc it when proc your skill whenever you can. Uh, okay, we don't. I don't want to put Yuki into the floor yet. Just waiting. Okay, I'll help you. Uh, ladies, glass. Uh, but yeah, basically every rival battle will put you. Success be born. Uh, we'll put you against one of these, so you just have to earn more sales. Sometimes they may actually beat you in terms of that bar at the bottom. Okay! Sensation. Let's go! Okay, help. Uh, I will, I will, I'll finish what I was trying to say once I deal with all this. Of course, we can skip this cutscene by pressing A. Uh. Okay, Seiko, you're you're good enough. Okay, go fever. Uh, yeah. So they may beat you in sales at first glance, but they usually like to uh, spend money on gifts. So because they have to spend money on gifts, that will actually lower the amount they have available, or their basically final count. They'll lower their final count just by having gifts to guess. And what we can do is not do that, so we can always be top topping the the chart for uh top the chart against him. But anyways, we're actually dismantling him right now. Uh, that's really good. Uh, do not give an expensive gift. Uh, oh, in this case. I think in rival battles, you don't really want to do gracious send off if you're in fever time. What you actually want to do is give girl reward or praise girl. Praise girl to recover a little bit of HP. Uh, spend money to reward the girl if you really need their HP. Menu. I think that's most of it. It sucks that you cannot choose a certain level. Uh, nope. Okay. Since I'm about to hit level 2, I would like to hit. Uh, more people in. 
Okay, Obatarian. Uh, come on. Two guests left. Okay, that doesn't matter. They're about to time out anyways. Uh, yeah, go Harumi. Check. Okay. Praise girl. So yeah, there, there he is. He uses level 1, so we lost two guests, but we still are toppling him in sales. Menu? So yeah, when I, met, when I said that we want to hit um, our, fe our fever gauge whenever we can. Uh, I wasn't joking, since now we don't have any guests, so now my fever is gonna hit level 3. Save up for level 3, but we don't have guests, and I'm only saving up to level 3 just because I don't have anything else better to do <gasps> with my fever bar. Because we're still winning in sales, so I don't think we even need remotely need this in a sense. Okay, I'll just put Isobe there. And you to maximize your fever, you want to wait until they are actually seated as well, too, so you get to see that circle go down to start ticking. Since that's when that signifies that they will get affected by fever as well. Uh, if I get one more, that would be great, so I can go fever. Uh, ladies, glass. So for fever, since uh, level 3 affects all 6, if I could hit, hit all five, hit at least five, that'd be great. And that's what I'm going to do. So hurry up. Show me the bar, or not? I. Okay, there goes two. Since I want to maximize my effectiveness, so one more guest, and we would be chilling. Okay, there it is. Uh, does not matter if you're poor or not. Okay. That's a towel. Okay, come on, come on. Bars? Okay, let's go fever level 3. Get our HP back. And everyone's on fever time, so more money. And I think... Um... Honestly, I think this is the first time I've actually just dismantled Mars. Since I think... On my first playthrough, I did, didn't do that well or something. Or like, I still beat all the uh, rival battles on my first try, but some of them came super close. So I think this is the first time I've actually probably just straight up dismantling a rival battle. Why does everyone want to party? Okay. Uh, let's praise Isobe. Six seconds left. He's probably still two more guests, but. Oh, yep. <laughs> I was about to do it. Oh, we're timed out, anyways. Let's see. Yeah, we, you can see right there. We have. We made more money from cover charge and food and drink sales than them, but because of their gift costs uh, combined with their staff costs, we still end up being uh, more. Uh, we still have a higher profit than them. There we go. Take over to Mars area complete. And that's a lot of XP. Damn. That's pretty good. And we are at D rank. Hey, let's see what happens now that we beat Hino. <laughs> ah, we did it! We won! We beat Club Mars! Yeah. Urgh, this can't be happening! You guys are flies! Dung beetles! I don't lose to mere insects! <laughs> hey, be a good sport, Hino. You got stung. <laughs> uh, there's no way this is my fault. Something else must have caused this. Yeah, what caused it? You giving gifts to people. Huh? I, you were supposed to be my number one hostess. What the hell were you doing? You're worthless. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's about time I fire your sorry ass. I'll use your pay to recruit girls twice as good as you. <laughs> That'll guarantee my win next time. Since she drew the fight, this battle doesn't count. Ha ha ha. Uh, you're pathetic, you know.
Nani? Nani? You guys. Huh? huh? Who the hell are you? Majima-san, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Tsukiyama, the founder of the Five Stars. So you're the big bad boss, huh? huh? A rather trite description, but yes, that would be me. And here we have... I'm Kizuka from Club Jupiter. Mess up the five stars and you'll be in a world of pain. Oh my, so ominous. I'm Mizumura from Club Mercury. Go easy on me, eh? Uh, I'm Kanehara from Club Venus. You wouldn't forget to face this fabulous, would you? So the five of you call yourselves the five stars. Nice to put some faces to the names. <laughs> in any event, it was a remarkable contest. Your reputation as manager of the Grand is well earned, I see. In terms of financial and operational resources, Sunshine is vastly inferior to Club Mars. Nevertheless, you still managed to win in spite of your handicaps. <laughs> eh, you know, when all's said and done, maybe you five stars ain't such a big deal after all. <laughs> How presumptuous. If the five stars were five digits on a hand, you know it would only be the pinky finger. In fact, it's embarrassing to even call him our peer. If winning against us burnout brings you such satisfaction, it speaks to how weak you truly are. Nani? Nani? How can you say that, Tsukiyama-san, after everything I've done for you? All you've done is drag the name of the five stars through the mud. I have no further need of you. Well, let's not be hasty. Give me one more chance. I'll do anything. Thank you for your service. Now, goodbye. No! No! I don't want to die! Yo, hey! Uh, that's your cue. Uh, yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Well now, aren't you happy, Majima-san? You have one less rival. It's rather a shame that the five stars are, in fact, down to four, thanks to Hino's buffoonery. Kotomi, would you like to join our ranks? A uh, gracious offer, Tsukiyama-sama, but I feel I'm better suited to the task required of your personal assistant. <sighs> ah, I see, what a shame. Majima-san, what about you? Would you like to join the five stars? Seems there is a vacancy, and you would certainly qualify. Uh, sure. Only got kicked to the curb the moment I disagree. You couldn't make me join you for a truck full of cash. I see. That's most unfortunate. In that case, farewell for now. I look forward to Club Sunshine's continued progress. Oh, but do be careful. If you do anything to truly anger the five stars, there's no telling what might happen to you. Tsukiyama to five stars, huh? And Kizuka, Mizumura, and Kanehara. Looks like things are gonna get a little busy. Well, I never would have thought all of the five stars would show up to our club, of all places. Uh, they make one hell of a happy bunch. And that assistant, she's kind of creepy, right? I mean, she's pretty, but still. <laughs> uh, well, I'm just glad we have everyone. This will be fantastic for our reputation. Uh, yeah, at least we're still in business. We're gonna have some tough battles ahead, but we'll get through them as long as we stick together, like a team. Yes! Um, excuse me. Oh, hey, you're what's her name for Club Mars? What's the matter? Uh, would it be asking too much to work at your club? Eh? Eh? You mean Club Sunshine? The number one girl from Club Mars wants to work here? Uh, yes. Hino san is gone now, and I don't think Club Mars will be open for business for a long while. Uh, I guess he did just up and take off. All things considered, I doubt he's ever coming back. Besides, I really want to work here. Uh, why's that? Because it seems like so much fun here. <laughs> uh, fun? You mentioned that before, didn't ya? Uh, that's right. That's what I thought the other day when you saved me, Majima-san. I knew it must be a great place to work from the fun atmosphere you guys create. Really? No, we're all that different from any other club out there. Uh, not true. Club Sunshine is really friendly and cheerful. And right now, there's no place I'd rather be. Please, let me join you as part of your team. If you want to be here that bad, you might want to get your head checked, but it's all good. Welcome aboard. I'm looking forward to seeing you in action, Aichan. Yes, finally, a cute girl who's not so quiet and plain. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by that, Yoda-san? Uh, yeah, the five stars don't stand a chance against a cutie like Aichan. Say goodbye to quiet and playing around here. You too, Majo-san. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Ah, uh, see? It's really fun. I'm looking forward to working with you. You recruited? I. <laughs> Alright, we got a new member on the team. Let's make a fresh start of it and figure out how to work better together. Yeah! Locks have been unlocked for the Fug Style. New items have been opened up on the ability screen. Mission upgrades are now available. Okay. 
<laughs> we defeated Club Mars, but there are four more left in the five stars. Club Moon is the top club, so we should save that one for last and focus on the other three first. You can now take on Club Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus. Progress through the story and cabaret club battles by increasing the number of fans in each area. Gain more fans in each area by running your club and partnering up with businesses. Congratulations on defeating Club Mars! You got a bonus of 300 million yen! God, oh, that was a lot of text, but we got a lot of money just for beating uh, Club Mars. And look at this tree. It feels good to see it not locked. Uh, especially that we get combo boost down here for a hefty amount, but it makes Fug a lot stronger. Especially with some of the other uh, nodes. I think like there's a there's a good node where uh, I don't know I don't know which one it is, but it has a pretty good heat action. But anyways, by defeating Club Mars, we get a Platinum Hostess I. We can talk to her if you want to change the interior slash decor of uh, uh, Sunshine. But the way to recruit uh, Platinum Hostesses is beat the club they're working at. So you can probably tell where we get the other Platinum Hostesses. And just like Kiryu, uh, we unlock our no nodes for a style. And how we technically get someone from the rival to join you. Like how the Leisure King and his assistant, alongside Electronic King and his assistant, join Kiryu to work as his staff. We get the Platinum Hostess of that club, the Ace, to join Majima at Sunshine. Okay, and before we wrap things up, let's run the Cabaret Club, as in, go to the menu, a new girl has joined, uh, hostess list, and here is I. She has very strong love and party. Those are her two best stats compared to Yuki, who is now even in talk and party, so she definitely will uh, help a bit. I think that I want to prioritize different stats, or, or that, I mean different looks compared to Yuki, so that we still target uh, three other ones. But uh, I do want to make note that I believe that now we have I, if we go to Yuki and look at her dress, uh, yes, we can actually buy I's dress for her. So by uh, maybe also to I herself. Yes, so basically, for each Platinum Hostess, you can buy the other, dr the other dress for each Platinum Hostess if you want to see them in that sort of dress. So, more customization options. And I believe also, now that we have also taken down uh, at least Club Mars, um, I think it's under accessories. Uh, okay. I recall that you can actually get more accessories unlocked over time. Uh, I clearly don't have that, I guess. But you do get more uh, customization options as you continue along with Cabaret Club Czar. Uh, you can see why this is my favorite side thing to do in Zero which is to just earn a lot of money, customize girls, and just have fun. It's fast, it's not stressful or anything, it's just very casual. Uh, it's a casual way to pass time if you really want to. But anyways, now that we've taken down Club Mars, uh, I'm gonna wrap things up here, and next time on Yakuza Zero, we have some money, might as well pay a visit to our masters, or remaining masters of Komeki and Areshi, to do some more training since we can actually get probably all of their uh, master skills now. Actually, we can! Okay, might as well. And I'll see everyone next time. <laughs>